Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading White. I'm Marilyn, and today we have auction bags. Um, I thought I would give us um, a little bit of different items. We have a um, cameos, and we have um, sterling gemstones. So, hope everybody is doing well. Um, these are from that magnificent um, estate that we are still having at our local jewelry auction. If you are familiar with us, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms and bring everything to you at a discount from what we would list it on our platforms online. Um, I give you a price. And if you're interested, you send us an email to one shadyny at gmail.com. In your email to us, you give us a timestamp and a description of what you're wanting. This is going to be a little different because they are all um, pretty much sterling silver and cameos. And this grouping is sterling silver and gemstones. So you want to be very, very specific and be sure to give me those timestamps. Shipping is $5 in the United States. Under pound, anything over pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located. Also, um, uh, you can combine shipping. We do invoices on Saturdays and you can go through our videos from the week and add anything to it. And it's just the one price depending on the weight, of course. And we do videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, we do daily shorts that you can also purchase. And those generally come out daily around noon-ish. Uh, let me think if there's anything else. I think that's it. These are stunning. If you haven't um, been following the estate sale, our local jewelry auction, we're in Florida, and it is an in-house um, auction. So you go, you look at the stuff, and you bid. This estate has been going on for about, uh, I'm going to guess, roughly around two months now. And the items in this collector's um, pieces are amazing. Uh, she has... Um, been collecting forever. She was um, originally from New York and she um, had pieces from all over the world. Um, and she was a huge cameo fan. Um, Amber, anything feminine she really went for. Uh, as far as auctions, I would suggest uh, to go online, look at auctionzip.com or auctionology.com and see if there's an auction in your area. A great way to get wonderful jewelry. Okay, I am going to scoot these out of the way and then we're just going to dive in and um, start with the cameos. Um, first off, let me get these in a bit of an order. This one is gorgeous, unusual. This is a shell cameo. I'm gonna go in tighter a little bit. Okay. This is a shell cameo. I can show you with um, putting light behind it and you can see the shell. Um, gorgeous sterling silver with a gold rope um, surrounding the bezel. It is um, the Blessed um, Mother Mary, and it does come with this um, chain. It's a cable chain. No, it's a small um, Rolo chain. It is signed um, 925. Everything I have already um, tested, and this one just says 835 on the tag. And then, I'm trying to remember if this one's marked. I did test it, but I didn't actually look for the marks because I went ahead and tested it. 
Um, also a note, I do not clean jewelry. I will wipe it down briefly. I do not want to take away any of the patina as some people like it, some people don't. And once it's yours, you can decide what you want to do with it. So let's get you a length on the chain. I think this is 16 inches, yes. With the bail, it is one and an eighth of an inch by uh, three fourths of an inch. And you can always tell a real cameo with the um, bezel will follow um, the line of the shell. Uh, whereas normally on jewelry, it is a set size and it doesn't waver. So with the thickest, this is about a quarter of an inch. And on this um, Mother Mary, um, gorgeous, and it is beautiful. I'm gonna say let's do $100. Next we have Rebecca by the Well piece. I love finding these. I don't find them too often in the wild. This is a French rope chain. It is marked on the um, safety clasp. Let me just check what the marking says. This is 925. It is a French rope chain. Gorgeous. And here is the cameo. It is also a shell. There you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? There is um, a mark right here. Let's look at the back. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned. I'm not seeing any marks on the um, sterling, but it is sterling silver. And I'll show you, there's two pieces that are not sterling and I'll show you what those are. That is gorgeous. I am a huge cameo fan. So these are hard to let go of, let me tell you. So one and three fourths of an inch by one and three eighths of an inch. And on this one, um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, let me tell you what the, is the thickest. It is about a quarter inch down here. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Just beautiful work. And on this one, I'm going to do 150. Love. Next, we have um, a large rope frame. Look at this gorgeous one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that rope um, bezel. This one um, does have a brace in the back. It's just a pendant and it is full to the edges. It's sterling silver. There's your front, gorgeous, gorgeous um, piece. Well done, look how, um, it's not a high relief I would say, but there's definitely relief. Relief means that it's above the bezel. Um, it is definitely um, shell. Beautiful, beautiful, um, design to this one um you can just see and feel the beautifulness <laughs> beautifulness is that really a word as i said it is a pendant with the bell we are two and an eighth of an inch by one and three eighths of an inch at the thickest it's about three eighths of an inch and on this one i'm going to do a hundred dollars isn't she beautiful Okay, the next one we're going to do is this beauty. Here we have an Art Deco with a paper clip um, chain. Uh, it has a safety cl clasp. Um, it's a thumbless safety clasp, true Art Deco. Um, this is still the little um, vintage price tag, little tag that I need to get off for us. There's no price tag there, it's just the rope. It is Marcosite. Actually, is this one Marcosite? No. No, it's just 
uh, press design all the way around. Such the Art Deco um, design of the Cameo. Um, there's the back. It says Sterling here. And um, she's a beauty. As I said, she is Art Deco. She is 925 Sterling. Um, the chain is, uh, I'm going to say, 16 inches with the Cameo bail included being one and an eighth of an inch by three fourths of an inch. And she is a quarter inch. And on this beauty, I'm gonna say a hundred dollars. Let me see if I can get our light. Yeah, there. Isn't she beautiful? Each one is like so individual. You know, they're all handmade. They're not pressed. These are hand carved. Okay, the next one is, let's see. Yeah, this beauty. She is, needs to be cleaned. And how you clean her, um, very simply, get a Q-tip, wet it lightly. Don't want to dripping and you just keep going over until she's clean and um this one is gorgeous it's 800 silver marked right here we have a um brooch and a bail and um she does have um a dark um wire right here i don't know why i don't see any thing on the front but there's the back. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, well done. Um, if you want me to lightly clean her, I will. Um, just go over it very lightly. And um, she, I'm going to, well, let me give you her size. This is um, one and a half inch by one and a quarter inch by, I'm gonna say at the thickest, I'm still gonna say a quarter inch. She is a shell. And um, with a super light cleaning, I'm not gonna go into an intense cleaning. I'm gonna do 75 for her. Isn't she beautiful? As all of them are. Um, the next one we have is this stunner. This is a bracelet. It's our Edwardian silver plated. It is not sterling silver. It is starting to lose um, some of the silver off of it. It is signed S uh, G W, right? D. Let me look again. I have a bad memory. <laughs> uh, G M. Um, and it is a hidden clasp, like so. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cameos in this. We have um, a silver wire around each one that is woven, and then it's panels. There's the back of them. They are each one individually carved, and each one is a shell. And on this gold-plated Edwardian cameo bracelet, let me give you a size. It is an seven and a half inch. I'm gonna do ninety-five dollars on this one. Beautiful. Okay. Next, we are doing this necklace. This one also is not startling. This is um, silver tone wire, um, twisted um, silver tone wire, mother of pearl, pre-1940s Italian um, necklace. Let me put that down where we can see it. It is a thumbless um, 
safety clasp. I'm going to guess that this is probably late um, 20s to early 30s because of the thumbless clasp. It has not been um, changed out. It's the same color as everything else. There's the back of that mother of pearl. Um, I see no markings on this one. The chain... is 14 and a half inches. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, let's see if the, uh, I already checked, but a little bit of light does get through, not much of that mother of pearl. And this one, I'm going to do $90. All individually carved too. Next we have this one, which is a stunner. This is a left facing, um, I believe this is 800 silver because it does test as um, sterling. Um, it needs to be cleaned. It definitely has some um, patina on the lower areas. The chain is still pretty, um, shiny i wouldn't say shiny um but it has these square blue um, glass beads along with this stunning left facing um cameo she has a little bit of um a green right here that needs to be cleaned off i can do that if you want just let me know once again i will not cl deep clean i will just lightly clean it for you this one, um, I believe, is around a 1930s to 40s, also Italian. It is um, 17 inches to the Y, and then the lower cameo is one and a half inch by um, about seven eighths of an inch. She is shell. You can see through her. And she is gorgeous with those blue glass uh, faceted stones. And on this one, I'm going to do $90. Love the left facing. Left facing cameos are more rare. Uh, now, this is my favorite. Look at that beauty. Look at that high relief and those roses. I do not come across too many high relief cameos anymore. Um, this one is set in a sterling silver marca set and it is shell. It has um, a little bit of a bent um, brooch, which I don't care. <laughs> it's amazing that this piece is in such good condition. It does have a bail. It's marked 800, and look at that beautiful rose. If this one doesn't get purchased, you know where this beauty's going. It's not going online. It's going in my personal collection. This one's hard to let go of big time. Okay, this one is one and three um, eighths of an inch by one inch. By, look at this fascinating. By one inch. Isn't that yummy? It is to me. There we have that it's a shell. Um, I just can't say enough about the detail of this piece. And on this one, I am going to do $200. Uh, gorgeous. That's my favorite. Okay, next we are doing the left facing 800 with a gold rope. Um, she is a stunner. Look at that. All that detail. The gold rope. It is a um, articulated bell with a brooch back. It is signed 800, 
Um, it is shell. Um, beautiful carving. Um, this one is a, it is a hidden um, bale. So it is one and a quarter inch by one inch by about uh, three-eighths of an inch. And on the left-facing um, gold rope on 800 um, silver, I'm going to do 125. And our last one in this grouping is this beauty. She is 800 silver with gorgeous detailed netting hair in her hair. Um, she is also articulated veil, a brooch, and she is marked 800 with a um, maker's mark. And she's also hand signed inside. I'm not sure if you can see it. There you can see the signature on the inside. Beautiful. And she is one and three eighths of an inch by one inch by about three eighths of an inch. She is also um, shell. Just sweet. Look at that detail. And on this one, I'm going to do $90. Okay, that is all of our cameos. Now we're moving over to the sterling silver and gemstone bot. This one is gorgeous too. This is a sterling um, 8 I believe this is 800 silver just because it's a filigree. Um, even though uh, 800 silver is testing at sterling, but this is 800 silver antique floral filigree with a pen closure. So you pull the pen, it stays attached, and there's your back. Beautiful floral filigree that is done so well. So you pull the pen, let's do it again just in case. And you stick it in and you close it. This one is a size six and a half. However, once you get it on, there's a little bit more room because it's kind of open. Um, I'm a seven and a half. So I'm thinking a seven um, it would fit. And, um, oh, I didn't tell you about the ring that I have on. This is my own personal ring, and she's not for sale. <laughs> but on this um, 800 antique floral filigree, I'm going to do $75. It's beautiful. Next, we have this sterling, beautiful, um, Ammonite, I think that's how you say it, fossil. Um, it is marked um, 925. It is stunning. Beautiful color. This is, let me give it to you with the pendant. It is, I'm going to say one and seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter inch by about three eighths of an inch. And on the fossil, I'm gonna do $50. Isn't it beautiful? I really love all these estate pieces. They're just so stunning. This one is amber. It's honey amber um, with a really thick, um, floral um, leaf um, design. Isn't that just stunning? There are some scratches in the amber. However, let me show you. I might have to turn off the light. Yeah, because you can't see anything. All right, turning off the light. 
And there's our green glow. Yes, I know that that's not the only way to show silver. I mean, amber. However, we're on camera. It's the easiest way to show you that, yes, it does. Yes, some plastics do um, uh, glow, but that's just a quick, easy way of showing it. There is um, some scratches on the amber. Um, a little really thick one right there, you can see. Um, but this is stunning. I would guess that this is very old sterling. I would guess it's European. There's a very big difference between Chinese amber and European amber. And there's a very big difference with the... Um, what you should be looking for necessarily is not necessarily the um, amber to give you a timeline of how old the amber is. Look at the bail, the silver work, the um, design of the amber. Is it a big chunk of amber or is it a slice? That all makes a big difference and you need to pay attention when you're purchasing. I know sometimes it's really hard when you're purchasing offline, but look at those things. Look at the quality of the sterling. Is it very detailed? Is it muddy? All those things tell a story. Um, I can tell you, I don't know details about any of these pieces because I didn't purchase them except in an estate auction. However, I can tell you in all of them, there's clues that tell us the age and whereabouts it was made and the quality of the piece. This is definitely a heavy, it's not super heavy, but it's a heavy sterling quality piece. This one um, with the bail is two and three eighths of an inch by um, three fourths of an inch. The amber is um, three eighths of an inch and the sterling is about mm, a quarter of an inch. On this one, I'm going to do um, $95, gorgeous. Next we have this pendant. This is a beauty. Sterling silver with a rope chain. It is signed nice and large sterling right there. I'm going to guess this piece is from the 40s because that's generally how they sign them. Generally on a little plaque and it's all spelled out. Um, really, really nice piece. The chain is a safety class. I have tested again everything. This one is 18 inches, I believe. Yes. And the pendant with the veil is two and three, uh, one quarter inch by one and a half. And the flowers are about three eighths of an inch um, wide or thick. <laughs> And on um, the vintage floral um, with the chain, I'm going to do $40. Next, we have this beautiful chain. This is a 30-inch sterling rope chain. Look how thick this beauty is. It is set on a lobster clasp. It's signed 925, and it is a beauty. It is, as I said, 30 inches. So there we go. And on this one, I'm going to do $50. Next, we have this. This is an interesting ring. Look at the detail on this beauty. All the leaves. I mean, it's been worn and loved. It is signed right here inside let's see if we can see it sterling silver it's spelled out um this is an onyx um what you can do because the back side is faceted you can take this to your jeweler and have them take the stone out and turn it over because the stone has been worn down 
and nicked and just worn to pieces, let me tell you. It's all intact, it's just banged up. But it says, Florida Military School and College in Deland, Florida. It doesn't say Florida, it just says Deland, but Deland is in Florida. But look at the shield with the leaves. Um, it's beautiful. This is a size nine. And on this one, I'm gonna do $35. And the last piece we have is this. This is um, sterling silver curb chain. There is no clasp. So this goes over your head and it is 24 inches. So on the curb chain, I'm going to do $28. So what was your favorite? Did you have a favorite cameo? Did you have a favorite um, gemstone or sterling piece? Um, I told you which one my favorite is. Tell me what yours is. If you saw anything that interests you, send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. We appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us. Be sure to subscribe below and we will see you on the next one. Bye.